Hello my fellow questers. Today we're doing something a bit different. Normally I'm doing Nintendo videos, tips, tricks, reviews, all around Nintendo. But I have another love beyond Nintendo, and that is Blizzard games. I started off by playing Diablo 2. I've played Warcraft 3, Warcraft 2, Starcraft, and all the Starcraft 2s and World of Warcrafts that came after it. I'm a Blizzard fan as much as I am a Nintendo fan, and today we're looking at the new patch that has dropped for World of Warcraft. It's the pre-patch to Shadowlands, and as you can tell, something's changed already. Back in the day, the max level used to be 60, and then as expansions rolled out, they added 10 levels, 10 levels, then I think a few expansions of 5 levels, until we ended up at 120, and it got out of hand. And honestly, you would end up leveling... I guess to like, actually honestly to like 60, 70 and you would be leveling just empty levels of no real skills or ability unlocks until 120. Um, in the past expansion, Battle for Azeroth, you would get like items and stuff that would give you extra spells and abilities and there's, well there's a, loads of other ways to get extra abilities but yeah, levels kind of were meaningless. So they're going back to the way it used to be where you would, uh, you get levels and then each level you'd get like a handful of new spells and abilities, making every level more exciting. So that's that. And we're actually going to just explore today the character creation that they have revamped. It looks a lot different than it used to. Um, you know, it's actually, it looks a lot more streamlined. It used to be clunkier and you'd have to click for allied races and stuff and this is this is nice. So, as well as the new UI upgrade, they've actually uh, added a lot more ways of customizing your character. So I kind of want to go through as many of them as possible, if not all of them. Let's do all of them, okay? We'll try to do it quick, but also in depth. So we got a male or female human. Let's customize it. Okay. I don't even know if humans had purple eyes before. Skin color. Oh yeah. You couldn't be black before. I don't think. That's cool. More inclusive. You could probably... I'd say it's, it's pretty close to like... You could probably make... Your character look as close to you as possible. Oh, what are these? Are these like... Not unlocked? Oh no, there. Oh, are these certain faces only for certain skin colors? All right. No, I don't know what's going on there. Interesting. What's this? Eyebrows. Okay. So hairstyle, monk. So bald. Oh yeah, this is a lot. Oh, you can zoom out. Good. This is kind of like a dwarf haircut. Barbarian. Dashing. Loose. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Holy crap. What's that, wizard? <laughs> That's cool. And then, of course... I don't think they added many more colors. Maybe they did. I never really played human, so... I'm sure they added one or two more colors. Mustaches. Nice. Sorry, I thought a spider was crawling on my leg for a second there. Alright, beards. Sideburns. We'll just kind of blast through this a bit. Oh, yeah. Different eye colors and stuff. So, yeah. It's not, like, crazy in depth. But there's a lot more than there used to be. Let's just add, like, a random name. Is there anything else you can do? Okay, you could have the normal starting zone or exile's reach. Which is the new 1 to 10 leveling experience. And I think it's the only uh, Shadowlands content that you can play right now before the actual expansion is out. So that's cool. I'm definitely going to be playing that as soon as I build my new character. I've never tried a monk before, so that's the character I'm going to make. And before this was released, I decided I wanted to make a Void Elf monk. But, I don't know. I kind of like the, ways, the way the Void Elves... Oh, that looks like a Blood Elf. I like the way the Void Elves looked. 
as compared to everything else, but maybe I can make... Oh, that looks cool. Maybe... By the way, I am an Alliance player, just... I, I was originally a Horde, but because all my friends are playing Alliance now, and the ones that used to play Horde don't play anymore, I play Alliance. Um, but I feel like I'm still Horde at heart. So that's why I'm, I'm planning on making a Void Elf Monk, but we'll see. Let's see what else we can do here. Alright, Dwarf, what can we do with you? Skin colors. I feel like, unless we get into, like, the elves and stuff, the skin colors for, like, the more human type people are going to be the same. So the dwarves, the humans, the... Is there anything else? I guess gnomes are probably going to be the same. Let's see. Are these... Yeah, these seem... Similar. Oh, no, they're a bit different than the, uh... What should I call it? Hold on. When I made the human earlier, it didn't really let me pick the class. I wonder if that comes later on. That's interesting. So we got... Let's just like... I'm just gonna like quickly click through a bunch of these. Just to see what we got. I, I don't think you can make one with green hair before. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly like blast through these so you guys can see. And we'll stop if we see something that's kind of super crazy. So far these are like, it's cool. They're definitely like new additions like feather earrings. But nothing outrageous yet. Night Elf. Let's see what we could do with them. Bup, 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 bup. Different shades of purple. That's pretty typical. I don't know if they had like a pink one before. You can make like a hot pink Night Elf. That's pretty cool. Oh, should I? I should have been like clicking genders too. Let's quickly go through this. Customize. Oh, yeah. Whoa, they have a lot. She looks kind of like a badass. Different faces. Well, I'm gonna hurt my hand doing all this. Hair colors. She kind of looks like, uh, what's her face from Supergirl? Or like her foster sister or whatever. Cool faces, eye colors. Oh, sorry. I'll make that easier to see. Cool eye colors. Makeup. Ooh. I like the candy. You can't wear makeup on the guys, though. I feel like that's, like, something they should have added. Some guys like to look fancy. Well, she looks angry. Okay, dwarf female. Skin colors. Cool, cool, cool. It's like Avatar. The airbender one, not the blue alien thing. Cool hair colors, eye colors. Yada, yada, yada. Piercings all over the place. Ah. Oh. Tattoos, that's new. I think it's because some people wanted to play like dwarves from the, uh, I forgot what faction they're called. Wild Hammer or something. Dwarves. Okay, female. Night Elf. I think they get the same shades as the male, as far as skin color goes. Lots of leaves in the hair. If you're gonna play a Night Elf, you're gonna have leaves in your hair, I guess. Alright. Oh, you could switch the leaf colors. Oh, you could choose not to have them. That's cool. I feel like all night elves should have some leaves in their hair. That's good that they give you the option. Ears. Nice, nice. Well, they have a lot of different, like, extra stuff. 
They get scars, but apparently humans don't get scarred. Eye colors are insane. Look at that. That's cool. Nice markings. I feel like this one's like the most customizable so far. Bunch of unique looking night elves are going to be running around. Alright. So let's go male gnomes. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. So far, nothing too out of the ordinary. <laughs> All right, beard. Yeah, so far nothing crazy. And they don't have any like special tattoos or ink or anything. Alright. Oh yeah, we didn't do females. Maybe they do. Whoa! Look at her. Alright. Yeah, she doesn't get any special earrings or tattoos. Oh no, she could do earrings down here. Oh, I kind of like the look of this one. Wait, let me switch the hair color or style. Oh, that's a cool hair color. That's like the color of the Zerg that I like to play in StarCraft 2. Let me pick one that we can... Okay, that one we can see the earrings. Sprockets. Ooh, fancy. Oh, and some of them you can switch the colors. Where's the one with the gem? Yeah, you can switch the little gem colors. Cool, cool. Male Drenai. Skin colors. I guess I could just do that. There you go. You can see all the different skin colors. Faces. Oh, yeah, that's way quicker. Cool hairstyles. That one looks pretty cool. Hair colors. Braids. Circlet. <laughs> I'm trying to make this interesting, but I mean, this is it. This is, I just, I don't want to miss anything in case you're like, I want to play the game, but I want to see what the pandas now look like or the goblins. We'll get to them. Wait, hold on. Females. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's where you pick the class. Oof. Oh, that's cool. New animations. Just to confirm that every class is a badass. Skin colors, cool, cool. Faces, not that different. Nice hairstyles. Horns. <laughs> Tendrils. Oh. Circlet. Right on. Organs. Alright. Fur color. Cool, cool. They don't really let you switch your human counterpart. Oh no, you can. Cool. Oh, that's a cool feature. So as wargans, now you can... Actually, I've never played a wargan, so I don't know if you could actually do this before, but... You can definitely do it now. You can customize whether... What your human counterpart looks like. And also... What your wargan... I don't have a good enough memory to tell if this is like all the same customizations as the actual humans, but I imagine it is. Nice facial hair. Cool faces. Cool ears. Really cool eye colors. That's like classic wolf. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I imagine the female can't be that much different. 
Female looks weird. It's just weird seeing a wolf with boobs. But yeah, all the eye colors and fur colors and stuff are the same, and yeah, we won't even go through this. I'm pretty sure it's the same as uh, making a female human. Okay, let's do the panda. Panda. Let's pick monk. Yeah, playing a monk's gonna be cool, I think. I also wanna be a monk because I want a class where I can be a tank healer or DPS. And I'm not a big fan of the the paladin healing. What else is there? I typically play shaman. Which is good because I like DPS, I like healing. But I have never gotten into tanking much. Warrior was fun, but yeah, I do want kind of... Oh, these ones are kind of boring. I do kind of just want... What else is there? I guess druids as well. I didn't like druids either. I didn't like how you had to like mix some of their talent trees with the other ones. And it was just hard to manage their skill bar. Yeah, nothing else can really do tank healer. But yeah, I didn't really like the paladin. So I'm gonna try monk. I also think it's cool that as a monk, the way you tank is by getting everyone drunk. Being a brewmaster. Alright, customize. So these are the customizations I really want to see because I kind of want to be a night elf. So I'd probably... I'd, or not night elf, void elf. I feel like I still want to be purple. I feel like it's weird seeing a a, a fair skinned void elf. All right, nothing crazy with these guys either. Nothing crazy at all. It's not good. I don't know if I can confirm whether or not I'm going to stick with the Void Elf Monk. But, let's see. What's the female look like? Pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I'd probably still stick with purple. But... I don't think they got any new hairstyles. Or, honestly, hair coat. Yeah, it seems very limited what they did with these ones. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Lightforge would be cool, but they can't be monks. That's. Oh, whoops. Oh, there's my. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's my shaman. <laughs> okay, where were we? Lightforged. Customize. Yeah, I feel like it seems like the allied races didn't get a lot of love. Nothing really that stands out as new or I mean maybe a few of them, but not much. Yeah. Poopy. This one might be easier for me to tell, since I played the Dark Iron Dwarf. Yeah, nothing really seems unique to this expansion. I guess they felt because they're new, they don't need to add anything extra, but I don't know. They could have at least added a bit more. It feels like they have less than the old races. Yeah. Weak. Okay, yeah. Maybe the... You can't even see the eye color if you have these goggles on. I feel like they all have... Goggles, don't they?
Oh yeah. Okay, no. Some of them have eyes, but yeah. Otherwise, I don't think they switch much. More skin colors, but which is good, but that's about it. And necklaces. I don't remember necklaces. Yeah, female mechanomes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just blasting through this. This is nothing new. So, assuming these ones... Okay, let's just blast through these quick. Nothing. I'm just doing this in case any of you really like these allied races and want to see the one thing they changed. There's the things. Horn markings. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Yep. All the same. Actually, some of those are different, I think. Eye color, horn markings. These guys. All the same. Except eye colors again. Female. Eh. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Maybe I won't end up playing an allied race after all. They didn't get much love. <laughs> Can't check the hair color if he doesn't have hair. Or she. Ah, uh, oh, gross, they have earplugs. And Vulpir. I never even bothered unlocking these. I'm never going to make a Vulpir. <laughs> I got every allied race and I got to this one. I was like, oh, I'm sick of grinding and what's the point? I'm not going to use them. I don't even... And here's the the male one they don't even look that much different between genders which is which this one it makes sense they're just foxes you wouldn't know a male or female fox just by looking at them oh god all right now we're getting into actual customizations again so obviously the orcs before, they didn't have markings and stuff that they can add. Actually, the beards and stuff seem pretty similar. Eye color. Yeah, these are new. But I feel like that's all that's new with them. The rest of the stuff looked the same. I know with these ones, you can switch how much their flesh has rotted. Which is kind of cool. Still stuck, uh, hunched over. I don't see an option for switching that. Where is that? That's a cool hairstyle. Actually, it's kind of like OCD. That I feel like that needs to fall down. It's going to be stuck up there the entire time. Was that Guile? Yeah, same jaws. Sockets, just eye sockets. Yeah, even like so far, it seems like... I don't know, maybe I'm biased or something, but it seems like 
the Alliance ones had more customization. Obviously, that's new too, but... Yeah. I mean, the UI is good, but... It's definitely quicker to customize. I like the flower. Oh, haven't I? I haven't been doing the females. See, that looks cool. I think those are different. Like, all the different additional skin colors. Horn color. Four main. Hair. Oh, that's lovely. The flowers in the hair. And then, yeah, they get cool customization as far as tattoos? What do you call that? Fur paint? I didn't do female undead. Again, they're they're still hunched over, but they've always been like not so hunched over as compared to the males. I, I always felt if I made an undead, I'd make female because for some reason, I don't like playing a hunched over character. I'm phasing her away. Yeah, nothing really new except for eye colors and maybe a few other skin colors. Do we do female orc? No. Do they look just by default a bit different? I feel like the face is more elongated than they actually were. I'm not sure they could have purple hair before. No, they. I think they could have purple hair before. Eye color, different scars. Yeah, nothing crazy. Let's go with trolls. Still hunched over. That's fine though. They're never not going to be hunched over now that they have the Zandalari trolls. Although for some reason the bent over troll kind of works. It's got to be hard standing up straight with that massive height they have. Uh, sorry, whoops, meant to pick a female. You can't see. I think that hairstyle's new. But again, most of them are the same. A few extra hair colors, I think. Seems like they've switched a bit more than the male ones. Okay, Blood Elves. These guys have always been kind of boring as far as elves. They feel like just humans with pointy ears. Yeah. The Alliance gets all the cool elves and the Horde gets like Blood Elves, and I don't even like the look of the Nightborn. But at least the Nightborn are a bit cooler than the Blood Elves. Nothing special here. Wait, where's that? You have a tiara. That's new. That is one elaborate hairstyle. Yeah. Cool earrings, cool necklaces. Moving on. And I think this is the last one we have to check out. Nothing 
Spectacular. Who even cares about the goblins anyway? I think they're the least played of all the different races. I'm not going to fact check that. I just think I'm right. But you can fact check that. Let me know. I think it's right though. Mm. Yeah. All right. That's all of them, I think. Yeah, the pandas are the exact same, depending on whatever you want to be, alliance or horde. They'll look the same. So that's that. That is the new character customizations for... What are you doing? Yeah. That's the new customizations for the patch. But just, let's quickly just make a random, yeah, sure, we'll make him, just to see what happens. Oh, no. I forgot, if you pick one of the allied races, you'll miss out on the starting zone, because they start at level 10. So if I want to do the starting zone, I'm going to have to something else anyway all right let's just let's just see the opening thing we'll end the video with the opening cinematic for exiles reach here we go you are a soul oh. of the noble alliance a coalition of kingdoms upholding the ideals of valor and justice across Azeroth. An alliance expedition sent to explore an uncharted island has recently gone missing. As a bold new recruit, you have joined a rescue mission departing from Stormwind. Find the lost expedition members and bring them home. For the Alliance! Honest tutorial mode. Hooray. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on questing. <laughs>